22. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Now, if you're new, we do movie and series reviews and monthly wrap up tier list with the occasional random ranking and um, board game content. Um, sprinkled in from time to time. So we just finished watching uh, Thor Love and Thunder, the fourth installment of the individual solo Thor movies. These are just our quick thoughts of what we thought about the movies. I liked it. Um, I wasn't expecting like, yeah, oh my God, for this movie. How we were talking about uh, days before about how they really make Thor mm. kind of stupid. Yeah, each movie he just gets dumber and dumber. He gets dumber. I'm like, it's like cool for him, but sometimes I'm like, you weren't, you weren't like this no. in the mm -hmm. first movie. But Avengers can't have you having too many smart people. Yeah, it says he was a pretty one. I really like everything, the jealousy that be going mm -hmm. on. The, you, when you know, you know. Yeah, there's some drama yeah. happening there. Okay. The <laughs> tension. But I think it was cool that he, that there's so many people involved and all mm -hmm. that. I like the soundtrack. I like the Guardians. <laughs> it's funny. It's like he was part of them, but mm -hmm. not really. And that's not a spoiler, guys, because that is part of the trailer. You do see them yeah. in the trailer. That's that's it for me. It's gonna be awesome. Oh, you guys, look. Oh. She did I some did. Thor expi expired. <laughs> Thor inspired makeup. <laughs> she did put on a face for us today. <laughs> She's single, y'all. I liked it. I enjoyed it. I, I always like Thor. I mean. Mm -hmm. It's Thor. Same thing. I mean, I don't like how dumb they kind of made mm -hmm. him, but it suits him. Yeah, he makes it work. Mm -hmm. He makes it work. I, I enjoyed it. I loved it. Definitely see it at the theaters. Hold on. I almost forgot. <laughs> I almost forgot. I'm like, I didn't even talk about Jane. Oh, I was. Like, I was literally thinking that. I was like, <laughs> why did y'all mention her? Even though she was a part, big part of this movie. I really like how they gave us the story of how she got Moimer, if I say that correctly. Moimer? Moimer? Oh yeah, Moyer? the hammer. Moyer? Gotta yeah. call it by its name. And they gave a little backstory mm -hmm. to, to some of her personal life as well. Mm -hmm. So that it was it was nice to see, to see how all that was was going. That they didn't just leave you wondering. So you guys, like I said earlier, uh, love me some Taika Waititi. You definitely like see him like all over this. Love the cameos. We have a lot of cameos. Love the whole story with uh, Natalie Portman with Jane. Um, I like how that was incorporated. I love that we got her back because we definitely were missing her in the in the last movie. Uh, Ragnarok. 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 I can't Ragnarok. say it. Ragnarok. Ragnarok. Yeah, I know where I was going. The last one. Of course, we had no Jane there, but that was definitely a different story. Love that one. I'm sure that's most people's uh, favorites. We're gonna be ranking the Thor movies, which I did rewatch. I did have issues with it. There were like CGI moments that were just not the greatest. I was just like, oh, really? Like this is where we're taking it. Love the whole kind of like rock and roll, like 80s. And then like uh, Desiree was saying also, um, I just don't like the way that they have really just dumbed down Thor because from the first Thor, Thor he was smart. He was like, oh yeah, this is gonna be a, a you know, the uh, god, the, the leader of, um, what's it called? Um, Asgard. 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 And like now I would, not, I, would, I, I would not trust him running nothing. I mean, good thing that he's not the king. Perfect, no, but I still loved it. I uh, had a lot of fun with it. The story wise wasn't also that great. Somebody else that you obviously forgot to mention was Christian Bell as the villain. He's honestly one of the best villains I think that we've seen in the MCU. It did take a, a moment to kind of like get there. The beginning part with the Guardians, I wasn't fully here. I don't know, like the chemistry between the Guardians and Thor. I know you said that you liked it, but I wasn't totally here for it. I feel kind of forced for me. It was good, not great enjoyed it it's a good time at the theater definitely do recommend especially if you are a fan of thor generally the mcu but that's gonna be pretty much my my thoughts there um there are two in credit scenes don't forget to give this video a like subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified each time i post something new um what are you guys gonna rank it i'm gonna rank it a medium yeah, I'm gonna give it a medium as well. I was like, are you gonna give it a large? Visually it looks nice, except for the time that, you know, the CGI was a little bit like wonky. It has really good fight scenes and just love Natalie Portman, uh, Mighty Thor. Uh, but yeah, so this race, since you just saw the Thor movies all, like how would you rank them? Going from <clears throat> best to worst. Okay. So I'm gonna put 
the first Thor, mm -hmm. and then Ragnarok, then uh, Dark World, and then this one. And then this one. Yeah. Interesting. What about you? The, I don't think sorry. I've seen Ragnarok. We should switch the last two. My ranking. I, you know, that's right. That's right to switch things up and go from you know. Well, I'll switch it up too. <laughs> they know roles here. <laughs> Number one would be. Number one would be <laughs> Ragnarok. <laughs> Number two would be Thor. Thor, the original Thor. Uh, number three would be this one, and then number four would be um, num number two, part two. Dark World. Dark World. Yeah. But let us know your rankings down below. Let us know what you thought about the movie. And until next time, we'll see you guys at concessions. Bye. Bye.